or Christian Holiday from Global Media, kind of making a, a name for your company through wrestling with some events with the NWCA and USA Wrestling and Flow Wrestling from events this year. Uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about the company and how you got involved with uh, broadcasting wrestling. Uh, well, I got I got started with the company. We produced a lot of TV content uh, as well as bought media throughout the country for a lot of our clients. And uh, a couple of years back. Mike Moyer called me up and said they needed some help getting the All-Star Classic on TV. Uh, their budgets had gotten cut and they just didn't have the resources they did. I wanted to see if I can get creative and help them get on TV and uh, I made some calls. Uh, I got my own production company so we were able to produce the event for quite a bit cheaper than he was used to as well as uh, secure some airtime uh, with some of the national networks and really started growing from there. From your experience, wrestling fans seem to want everything live instantaneously. We've, we've gotten kind of spoiled, but the, the tape delay type of situation, which is what you guys are doing for wrestling events like the Beat the Streets and the National Duels, Flow Nationals, U.S. Open, things like that, that provides a chance for fans to see things more than once. So what is the what is the mindset, I guess, behind taking a, a tape delay angle versus live? Well, one is a budget. You don't need a satellite truck to do a live feed and a full production crew for a tape delay. You can really shoot to tape or shoot to the hard drive nowadays and ingest the footage, edit it out, get it to time perfect it in post-production as opposed to having an elaborate pre-production set up. So that big satellite feed with the, the truck shooting out that satellite, uh, you don't have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for that. Um, one thing we've all noticed, just being wrestling fanatics, that's how the wrestling world is, is they really don't care when it is, as long as they get to watch wrestling. They get to see some good matches. Yeah, if it's a week later, two weeks later, it's just as good, unless it's uh, you know, the national championships where they need to know right now, but still, we're finding a lot of fans will still gravitate towards it. They'll uh, TiVo it or DVR it and record it later. And also the great part of it is uh, the licensing and some other rights where we don't have to mess with that. Uh, we've got a great relationship with Fox Sports to they got some open time. Guess whose tape they're popping in. They're going to run our tape over and over and over again. So we'll get tons of rebroadcast, open up a lot more exposure for wrestling and more importantly for uh, wrestling sponsors. That's the main thing we're going after is trying to bring sponsors in, get those sponsors national exposure, exposure so they can see they can make money off of wrestling. Wrestling's a, a growing sport. And uh, it's a win-win for everybody. The, the local wrestler gets to see his face on TV, and he gets to be a star in his community. And the local sponsor also gets that big broadcast, and everybody gets to find out who's sponsoring this event. So I think it's a win-win, and the fact that we can get the prices and the budget down and still keep it a high-quality production, uh, plan on having a big 2012-13 year, and we'll see what happens. Also, you guys work with the NWCA, USA Wrestling, and Flow, and, and those events. And it's not constricting them to run their own live broadcast, like for a webcast. No, no, not at all. We've worked out a great deal, once again, with Fox Sports. Uh, they love the content and the quality we're giving them right now. Uh, they know wrestling, unfortunately, is not the NBA or the NFL, so there's no licensing rights on who owns what and everything else. Uh, they've been very open to say, hey, yeah, you guys can push it, do some live streaming, whatever it takes with your audience. They're happy they get some great footage to run. Um, on some open space on their their network, so I think it's probably win-win for them as well because they're getting a, a great quality production at the same time they're getting for nothing. Definitely helps that you've got a wrestling background. Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, not, not a whole lot of wrestlers in the entertainment world in terms of the production side. You seem to be one of the guys that, when you're shooting wrestling, you know what you're looking for and, and how much a difference that makes in, in from the production process. Well, I, I hope it makes a, a big difference, but um, yeah, I grew up wrestling. I got four brothers. We all grew up in Oregon wrestling uh, on the West Coast. We're now down in California coaching or involved some way, shape, or form. Uh, my one brother's an attorney for, uh, helps out Dan Henderson, a lot of his stuff. My youngest brother's a pastor, is coaching at Calvary Chapel, and they've got a great program down there. I coached at Cal State Fullerton for a number of years before moving on. Uh, so we do know wrestling, and uh, being in the production field, it's really funny to see uh, people outside of wrestling come in and try to kind of fake it um, or say, uh, well, what's that fighter's name, or uh, when do you guys play wrestling, or something like that, or what was that one real neat move that guy did? Um, obviously, we want to make wrestling a sport for everybody out there watching it, so you don't need to be a, a wrestling whiz like Jason Bryan here to know everything. 
about wrestling. Uh, the, the, Shameless make, plug. Yeah, there you go. You owe me five bucks, by the way. Um, but we want to make it so anyone can turn it on. It's going to be exciting. It's not going to be two heavyweights just pushing each other around for six minutes. It's going to be exciting. But I think with that knowledge of knowing where the angles are to be, what's going on with it really helps. And also, uh, I think I got that trust in the wrestling community. They know I've got their back, and I'm pushing to get more exposure for it. I don't think I'm going to retire and become a millionaire off of doing wrestling. But uh, I want to see the sport grow and, uh, and let it go from there. We'll see what happens. An interesting concept in terms of anybody can really contact you and, and talk about getting their program on the air. You guys have made it affordable, there's sponsor time, things of that nature. How would they go about contacting you to try to get their college or high school event, uh, um, specifically college probably, on uh, on Fox College Sports? Yeah, I mean, we can do any college event and uh, some of the more high profile uh, high school ones. We did the Flow Nationals this year, that was our, our first high school one, and I've opened some doors with Fox Sports to, as long as it's not some little tiny dual, dual meet or something, we can pull in the high school finals to so some big tournaments. Um, there's a lot of them out there. Uh, so there's a lot of content that we can shoot for high school. Um, obviously college, we can put it all over, anywhere out there. Um, the easiest way to get a hold of us is at our website, uh, glblmedia.com. Um, all our contact info is there. You can call me, uh, talk to anyone on my staff, and you know we can definitely point you in the right direction, answer your questions, talk about production budgets, whether you need it low down and dirty, which we, we know most wrestlers, that's how they need it. Or if it's an event like the Beat the Streets where we want to add a little bit more flair and more style and more eyeballs on, uh, obviously the budget would go up a little bit with that, but um, we've learned to kind of templatize it and we can now shoot wrestling very affordable, all in HD, keep the quality very, very uh, high and uh, more importantly, get it nationally broadcast multiple times and like I said, make it a win-win. Christian Holiday with Global Media, thanks for coming out. Thank you.